Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. A pity you didn't manage to capture it. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. Did you manage to learn anything? It was fascinated by birds. We've seen deviants interested in other life forms, like insects or pets. But nothing like this. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? Lieutenant Anderson! <laughs> Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner.
Lieutenant. Wake up, Lieutenant. It's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey! I have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! Sumo! Attack! <laughs> Good job. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <coughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. 
You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me.
you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? John! I need your help. John! My luck. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives.
Goddamn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Don't move, asshole! Holy shit! Hit the alarm! Hurry! We need to move. We have to get to that fence! You are committing a class accident. This infraction is being reported to the police. Stay where you are. It's too late. If we go back, we'll be you killed too. This infraction is being reported to the police. Stay where you are. What happened? North went back to save you. We managed to get away before the humans arrived. Okay, where's John? He didn't make it. We had to leave our bags. We didn't bring back much. There won't be enough to save everyone. Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. What are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. in an asshole, just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. What the fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? I'm like wasting your time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> 
We'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. I can try. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, he 
these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know. They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. Please try again. You ever had any trouble with the androids before? No way. No. Once. We lost a model two, three months back. Uh, same model. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Evil Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell you, let's try this one. This better be... Nothing. Blue-haired Tracy didn't come this way. He didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation.
Nothing. Blue-haired Tracy didn't come this way. Take it from here. Look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. are fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you want, they screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know, we're gonna be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being.
And that man broke the other Tracy. I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive, get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again, make me forget about the humans, their smell of sweat, and their dirty words. Come on, let's go. Congratulations, Connor. You got him. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. 
Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? You know exactly what I am. In any case, I don't see how that's relevant to the investigation. Did you feel anything when you shot those two girls? Fucking bastard. Or were you just executing some program? I'm glad to see you taking an interest in machines, Lieutenant. Who knows? Maybe you'll even become useful to the investigation at some point. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think.